Peter and Lisa Marshall met, fell in love, and in 2009 had a picture-perfect wedding. A memory that was supposed to last a lifetime. But three years ago, Peter was diagnosed with early-onset Alzheimer's disease at the age of 53. He forgot that Lisa was his wife. He started to tell me all about his wife. And he was bragging about his wife to me. So that was helpful. <laughs> but I knew that he loved his wife, me. Lisa became simply his favorite caregiver, but they still had sparks. We were watching an episode of New Girl and there was a wedding. He looked at the TV and he had this smug little grin on his face and he said, let's do it. And he pointed at the TV at the couple getting married. And I said, are you asking me to marry you? And he said, yes, and nodded his head and smiled bigger. Big and small. I do. And so in April, Peter and Lisa found themselves back at the altar. It is my honor and delight to pronounce you once again, husband and wife, Peter, you may kiss your bride. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what was that day like? The most magical part of it all was that cognitively he was with me the entire day and it felt like 10 years ago and he just was so enamored with the whole with me the day our love and it just felt so perfect. Now that you've been married twice does he know that you're his wife? No and he doesn't remember the ceremony and that is the brutal toll of Peter's disease. But for Lisa, going forward with the wedding was a rare opportunity to take a special fleeting moment and make it everlasting. These memories that we made, this vow renewal was for me to cherish for the rest of my life when I don't have Peter anymore. Right now, who does Peter think you are? His favorite person, someone safe, the person who takes care of him all the time. He loves me very much, you know, he's very affectionate. He scratches my back, he kisses me. He knows that there is love there. And even though he doesn't use the word, that, that's a wife, what you're describing. Yeah, we don't need labels. You know, our hearts are very connected. Elizabeth Cohen, CNN reporting. Their vow renewal was officiated by a dementia specialist and the wedding vendors gave their services for free.